Hello, in today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating to you how to find data and create a visualization from it. Let's get started. My topic that I will be finding data for today is the Kansas City Airport. Let's take a look at this article titled, New KCI Will Be Bigger Than Planned, But Opening Likely Delayed, from the Kansas City Star. Down here, it says that this new design reflects faster than forecast growth in passenger traffic, but there is no source or data to back up this claim. My first tip is to always be skeptical of claims and to find information that either supports or refutes the claim. It is always important to fact check things that are stated in articles to make sure that the information is accurate. Moving forward, I will open up a new tab and search for statistics to back up this claim. I first search KCI Airport Statistics. My first result here is from flykci.com with the page titled Traffic Statistics. Let's click on it and check it out. Clicking on this link, I see that traffic statistics from many years are reported. As I scroll down, I click on the About Us page. I want to make sure that this website is credible enough to use. Now that I'm on the About Us page, I see the numerous divisions that the KCI Aviation Department is in charge of, ranging from KCI Airport to the Downtown Airport. I scroll down and see that this webpage is a copyright of the 2019 Kansas City Aviation Department. This information leads me to believe that this web page is credible enough for me to use. Now that we have established that this is a credible web page to get information about our topic from, I will now return back to the page with traffic statistics. Clicking on the first link for January 2019, I see that this information shows statistics for each month, ranging from scheduled flights, charter flights, total passengers, and scrolling down, I see more information about each airline individually. There is a lot of information to take in. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, and that leads me to my next tip. Tip number two, read slowly and in small sections. This way, the information is not overwhelming. My specific goal that I had was to fact check the claim from the KC Star article that said, there is faster than forecast growth in passenger traffic. So I'm gonna go back to total passengers and look at those statistics. Here, enplaned means departing passengers, while deplaned means arriving. It also gives me the option to look at year to date. If I were to look at the year to date for December of each year, that would give me the total number of passengers that have arrived at this airport. So let's look at December 2018. I will pull the information from December of each year because it gives me a year to date column to see the total information. This brings me to my third tip. My third tip is to use data visualization for easier interpretation. To do this, I will use an Excel sheet to input my data and then create a chart from it. I have already inputted my information from 2012 to 2018. There are many different types of charts to use. If you're not quite sure what kind of chart you should use for your data, here's an infographic from onlinebehavior.com that lists the many types of charts and their uses. For my specific data, I wanted to see a trend or change over time, so I decided to use a line chart. Excel makes the process of creating charts very easy. I will now select all of my data, go to the Insert tab, and Excel gives me recommended charts as well as other options. I will now select a line chart. I now have an easy to view visualization and can see that passenger rates have in fact risen and the statement presented in the article is valid. Now let's review all that we have learned. Tip number one, always be skeptical. There's a lot of information that can be presented in articles and it's always good to be skeptical of what you're reading and to fact check it on your own. Tip number two, read slowly and in small sections. Data can be very overwhelming, but if you follow that tip, it can make it much easier to comprehend. And lastly, tip number three, use data visualization for easier interpretation. Excel makes this very easy to do, and then you're able to see comparatives and trends over time, and the data is overall just easier to read. I hope that you've learned a few new things from this tutorial, and as always, happy searching.